Alright, this is Bernie from the Create Lab, and this is going to be a, another tutorial on JavaScript. Um, and let's see, uh, this one's going to be on how to uh, prompt a user for information and take that information and pass it to a function to be used in your code. Okay. Um, sorry um, let's see the first thing we're going to do here is uh, open up an HTML document uh, which I just did and we're gonna pop in some JavaScript open and closing tags so I type script type and it's text JavaScript closing script tag and we're gonna do that there's two sets of them for this um, one sets within the body the two body open and closing body tags and the next set is gonna be up right before the closing head tag um, and how I did that I just highlighted and hit control C and right up here, control V, which is paste. Okay, so we've got our two sets of script tags. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we'll just be asking the users for some numbers. So we're going to create um, our first variable and we'll call it number one. And our second variable will be number two. And um, we're going to do number one is equal to window prompt. And that is what you type to um, ask the user for information. And in here is what the user is going to see. So they're going to see enter a number. And the next number two, two is equal to window dot prompt. And this is, um, let's see. The variables, you can use caps or whatever, but all this stuff, the JavaScript code has to be um, in lowercase until you get here where it can be, you could type whatever you want. Whatever you want. But this here, the window prompt, the JavaScript command has to be lowercase. Uh, but we're gonna have them enter another number. Um, okay. Now next, we're gonna um, identify what the name of the function's gonna be. So we're gonna look for the highest number out of the two numbers they put in, uh, just for the sake of this tutorial so number one and no number two okay now up top here is where we're gonna put our function so for tab in so it's a little bit more uh, human readable function highest number and x and y and open curly brace and close curly brace and in here we're gonna put our our function 
um, variable first num uh, we're gonna create another variable here and let's see first num equals parse float and um, the parse float command is um, the F has to be capitalized and I'll explain what's happening here uh, momentarily uh, let's just get this written first and then I'll go over what's happening um, now we're gonna do a second variable variable sec num second number and sec num equals parse float y okay now variable high num and we're gonna write a little conditional statement here if first num is greater oops sorry is greater than second num then the result will remain first num otherwise the result will be second num and then um, to display the answer we're going to use an alert box so alert hi num okay uh, let's see here so what's happening here is um, we declared our first variable and our second variable and the window prompt that the user is going to see is asking them for a number that number is going to be assigned to number one the second number is going to be assigned to second number two and this uh, is basically declaring where this information is going to go so this information is going to go to the function highest number and the slot is going to be variable number one this slot's variable number two and if you look at the function highest number this x and y x represents the first number a number one and y represents number two and we redeclared some new variables first num here and if you see first num is x number one and second um is y number two so the parse float is basically grabbing that information um, and then within our variable high num here we're just comparing the two numbers and taking the highest number and then the alert box is going to display that high number so let's save this um let's pass function yes and check it out in the browser okay so first now I'm we'll put 200 and the second then we'll put two and as you can see it displays the highest number uh, 200 um now if we wanted we could put a little bit of an explanation here um, the highest number is plus high num um, that's how you would concatenate that statement and let's check it out in the browser and see what happens this time uh, we'll put 500 and 2020 
the highest number is 2020 so it's always going to pick and choose the highest number now another thing I wanted to show you here um, now you could put in any information you know and pass this information to a function um, you know prompt your user for whatever information you're looking for um, and another thing you can do is um, and this comes in handy designing websites and stuff is to um, create an external JavaScript file to hold your functions um, so what we're gonna do here is remove this um, you could hit control C and delete and create a new file a JavaScript file and hit control V and you can delete the script tags um, if it's in it if it's going to be saved as a JS JavaScript file you don't need the open and closing script tags and we can save this as uh, function okay yes we're going to override it now um, what you would put up here is script source and just function dot js um, type text JavaScript. I'm sorry, you know what? It's been a long night here. Uh, okay. So let's see here. Now it'll work perfectly. Um, let's put in 5,050. The highest number is 5,000. Now, the reason I showed you that is when you're using. JavaScript and type things uh, to send on a website. Um, when you go to validate your site, sometimes the JavaScript will cause errors in the site. So if you make an external JavaScript file like this, it takes the errors right off of your page. So I hope that this has been informative and, and useful to you. And this is Bernie from the Create Lab.